In this problem, we're going to look at how to evaluate the electric field of a point charge using Gauss's law. To start, we write out Gauss's law, which says that the volume integral of a charge is equal to the surface integral. So that's an area integral over the surface of the Gaussian surface. The electric field times the differential area element. Or simply the electric field times the total, times the area evaluated over the entire area. Where the area electric field is per is perpendicular to the area element. But the area element points like this, the electric field has to come out like we need the perpendicular part. You can think of the area element as having a little arrow of its own in the same direction. Which is why we use the dot product. Now for a point charge we can use either any of these delta functions. Uh, you, now doing it with a with spherical coordinates has a few small complications, not very complicated. Um, you're welcome to look them up. I recommend Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics. It's probably the best text for an undergraduate. To and it keeps it at a very simple level, which is why I like Griffiths. Now, we could have evaluate this the hard way, or we could do it the easy way, which is why we like Gauss's law. We look at, in this case, we have a point charge, Q, and we have a spherical Gaussian surface. Now, we know that whatever is inside this has to equal a charge Q. So instead of working out the gruesome details, and they aren't that gruesome, but without working out the details, we can simply say we have a charge. I'm going to write it with a little Q. Q over epsilon naught. Because whatever our volume is, how big or how small, we know it involves a charge Q. I write that with a little q just because I wrote it up here. I mean quite the same thing as the big q right here. So we write this equal to the electric field times the area element. Now this is where it could get very, very complicated if we had a complicated shape. However, the most when Gauss's law is the most useful is when we have a very simple shape. The electric field lines here are coming out at an equal amounts in every direction, and they're always perpendicular to any field line coming out. That means that we can take, since the electric field is equally strong everywhere, and it's always perpendicular, we can just write the electric field times the total area. Now the area, area, area of a, the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, and of course our electric field. This means if we solve for the electric field we get electric field equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon q over r squared. Now for the careful reader may notice this is very similar to, what, to a similar formula, formula we have learned that was written out Coulomb's constant times k over r squared. That's because Coulomb's constant and this guy right here are exactly the same thing. 
Coulomb's constant is just shorthand. It's just a quick way to write that out. And when you're getting introduced to electrodynamics, electrostatics, we keep things simple at first. So k equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. And the electric field equals this guy right here. Gauss's law, when it's useful, it's fast and easy. But we usually save it for the points where, the conditions where, we can do it without too much trouble.